Next what we're going to do is we're going to look at some uh, basic logarithmic properties. So our first example is log base 7 of 7. So again with our logarithms uh, you can see the base of your logarithm is your subscript so it's a, a smaller number written below the normal line of text. So keep that in mind because we all need to make sure that we write the same way. So log base 7 of 7 what we actually think of is 7 to what power? 7 to what power will give me 7? So hopefully you know by now that that will be 1. Or the other thing you can do if you looked at a problem like this is you can say well 7's exponent's 1 since the base of your logarithm and the base of your exponential function are the same and they'll cancel and leave you your exponent of 1. In this example we have log base 5 of 1 so again in a normal line of text that base will be a subscript written smaller below the normal line of text. So now 5 to what power will give me 1? Well hopefully you know that uh, anything to the 0 power will give you 1 so the simplified form of that expression would be 0. Looking at the next one, we've already kind of talked about this. Now we're bringing in back into the concept of inverse operations. So log base 4 of 4 to the third power. So because the base of our logarithm and the base of our exponential function are the same, they will cancel and leave me an answer of 3. Uh, in the next example, as you can see, we have 6 to the log base 6 of 9 power. So these, this is my whole exponent for this base of 6. So because those are the same, this will cancel, and it will leave me an answer of 9. So over time, you'll see how logarithms and exponential functions are related to each other, and it will make finding the values for logarithms more and more uh, less difficult.